uh, New Orleans could feel the effects of Tropical Storm Isaac, or maybe by then Hurricane Isaac, uh, by Tuesday. It's expected to make landfall late Tuesday, early Wednesday, and that, of course, Wednesday would be the seventh anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. FEMA calls Hurricane Katrina the single most catastrophic natural disaster in U.S. history. Joining us this morning from New Orleans is Ronald Surface. He's a superintendent of the New Orleans Police Department. Nice to see you, sir. Thanks for talking with us. We appreciate it. What's different this time around uh, in, in what you manage uh, than, than seven years ago? There's so many differences. Since Katrina, there's been hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars of infrastructure built and put in place with flood protection. We have the most state-of-the-art command and control systems that we use now to make sure that we can seamlessly cooperate and coordinate our efforts with local, state, and federal officials. Uh, we don't want to lose the opportunity to send our best wishes and prayers to the people who have already fallen in the path of Isaac. There has been some death and devastation and destruction from wind and water. So here in New Orleans, we feel very comfortable and strong in our department's response, our government's response, and our ability to get through this storm. But remember, the best plan for any storm is to be ready to evacuate if necessary. We don't see that yet, and if we do, we'll let people know. But it's all going to come together, we think, very nicely. Let's talk about your department's response. Seven years ago, um, the New Orleans Police Department, really, I think it's fair to say it, a black eye in a lot of the response. And some of that was because family members who hadn't been evacuated now became a focus for some of the police officers who then had to decide between helping out the city or helping out their families. What's different now? Are you, are you demanding that family members have a plan or be evacuated? What are you going to do on that front? It's much different. Two weeks ago, we began testing the hurricane system. We began testing our notifications and realigning officers' understandings that they are public servants, but they have a family too. So let's get your family taken care of first. Make that a thing that's already been done so that you can give yourself fully to the people you serve. We feel very strong that that's in place. You know, the issues about Katrina being an anniversary makes us all a bit heightened, makes everybody a bit more concerned. I think we're going to do well, but you're right. You've got to get the officers to take care of their families first so that they can stay here and take care of the people. What about the prisoners? Uh, I remember some of those early pictures when the choppers would fly over and show the prisoners who are out on the overpass in the, the baking sun after the, the hurricane had, had roared through. Yeah, these are some of the, folk, uh, the, the photos that we're showing now. What's the plan for them? Uh, what do you, have you already mapped out? Are they being evacuated now? What's happening to the prisoners? If we work very closely with the Orleans Parish Sheriff, Marlon Guzman, he's part of our emergency team. On yesterday, we had a meeting with the mayor leading it, and part of the process is determining when and how the sheriff will move prisoners, and we'll be there to assist him in any way possible. He works with the surrounding parish sheriff so that there's bed space available. Um, it's all going to be orchestrated very carefully and in preparation before the storm gets here. All right, we're watching it. Ronald Serpice is the superintendent of the New Orleans Police Department. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you for talking with us. I know you're busy, so we appreciate the time. Yes, ma'am. It's interesting, you know, the, the thing about the date, of course, I find is so creepy, having spent a lot of time in New Orleans uh, when the storm hit, and, of course, a lot of time since the storms hit. Um, it just, it, it's so many people there. That anniversary is such a terrible anniversary, even when there's no storm coming, uh, to have a... Extraordinary uh, resonance to have it to be on the same day, possibly. Well, of course, the strength right now is much right. less. You know, Category 1 is far from what hit New Orleans, which was a Category 5. And, of course, the there. difference there was, it was the levees breaking yeah, that right, contributed right. To, to that problem, beyond, exactly. beyond just the hurricane itself and the winds. And so, and so the hurricane was one thing, levees breaking was a totally yeah. different thing right. that greatly contributed to that, that, that whole disaster. Right, right. And I'm sure, as you see all this money that's been poured into the levy system, you know, at least, again, I'm it not from New Orleans. It looks formidable. It looks formidable, really formidable, but, but until it's everyone. tested, right. you know, who knows? Right. Who, who really knows? And, and what a Mother, Mother Nature has taken care of many man yeah, yes. <laughs> right. And what a complex series of decisions for all the folks involved in this convention. I mean, you know, what, the, what is appropriate, uh, depending on what happens in New Orleans, uh, yeah, this, is, this is obviously one of the biggest moments that are left in the campaign, as Ryan said before, and yet you have this enormous event that affects real lives of real people that you have to be very cognizant of as you make every choice going forward, even Wednesday and Thursday. But it also happened in 2008, remember? Remember yeah. 2008, the first day of yeah. the yes. Republican convention? Yeah. This, this is a similar problem. Right. The first, day, the first day may be gone now forever. But, I mean, we're talking about potentially the, the, the climax moment, you know, which is when you have the, the national spotlight on that acceptance speech and how that's going to be affected. I mean, this Lenny, is do you think very difficult choices. Republican Party ever have another convention in Florida in August in hurricane season? 
I'll still try to make the case for it. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, is it? But remember, it was okay. Minneapolis, the season. Yeah. and it still affected the commission. But that's because so. it was so close to Katrina, yeah. I think. It was right. a special case. Yeah. We've been talking about the RNC. We've been talking about uh, what is going to turn in, we expect, uh, to a hurricane, Isaac. But there are other stories that are making news.